too chicken to play. That's a little joke because, of course, this round we are featuring chicken. Why did I just turn into Randy the Macho Man Savage? I don't know, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, Marina's mom, Mindy, uh, just a moment ago told us uh, she's got some chicken there at home, and she desperately needs a good recipe to cook it up for dinner tonight. So that means we are going to crowdsource this thing. Uh, uh, Marina's mom, Mindy, has promised that she's going to make one of the featured recipes that we hear about right now. Wow, this is a lot of responsibilities for our flavor expert. Luckily, we got three of them. So, uh, Mindy, you're going to have your pick of the litter. I wouldn't recommend encrusting the chicken with cat litter, though. That's a terrible idea. Let's meet our first recipe nominator now. Say hello, me monkey dots, to Lucy! Hey, Lucy, how are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the monkey house. Lucy, do you eat a lot of chicken there at your house? Yes, I'm kind of sick of it. Wait, oh, you're sick of chicken. Whoa, sick of chicken. How often do you eat chicken? Like, how many times per week, if you had to guess? Two. Wait, two times? Two times a week makes you sick of it? Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess there are lots of other kinds of food you can eat. Would, how about once a week? Do you think you could handle that? Yeah. Okay, once a week, twice a week is too much. What about seven days a week? What if you just ate chicken every day? Uh, no. Okay, you'd probably, you'd probably move to another test kitchen. Well, um, Lucy, as a chicken expert who's maybe getting a little tired of it, you probably have a good, unique perspective on how to make chicken that you won't get tired of. So tell us, what is your chicken breast recipe? Roasted rosemary chicken. Oh, oh, I mean, just those words, roasted rosemary chicken. How do you make roasted rosemary chicken, Lucy? So you put the chicken um, with some olive oil in a pan. Uh -huh. and, then, and then you put some lemon and rosemary on it. Oh, my gosh. And then you put it in the oven. Uh-huh. And... 350. Oh, wow. And, and took it until the juices run clear. Oh, okay. Wow. I mean, Mindy in California, you're listening to this. We just got step-by-step -step directions from Lucy in Texas. Let me see if I, if I can uh, repeat what you just said. Lucy, tell me if this is right. You find a chicken, you name it Rosemary, and then you put it in a pan and you eat it. Did I hear you correctly? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll just replay the tape, and hopefully the recipe's in there. Everyone, give it up for Lucy in Texas with roasted rosemary chicken. Wow. And, of course, if you have a chicken who isn't named Rosemary, you could just, you know, change its name, I guess. Uh, let's go to California. Oh, that's where Mindy Marina's mom lives. And meet our next flavor expert. Say hello to California's own Summer. It's Summer in California. Hello, Summer. Welcome to the Monkey House. Are you, uh, hello. Are you excited to be our next chef? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm hearing more than one yeah. Are there more than just Summer on the phone right now? Yes, I'm her brother, Asher. I'm Summer? Summer. Yeah. No, it's a Summer and Asher. Is there a third person there or just you two? Uh, just us two. Yeah. Some, okay, got it. Just want to make sure I got a, a proper census of how many people are heading surfing there in California in your car. All right, Summer and Asher, tell us. What recipe have you concocted that features boneless, skinless chicken breasts? Um, we're making, um, pesto pasta. Yeah, green chicken pesto green pasta. Chicken. Green oh. chicken pesto. Green chicken pesto pasta. Oh, it's fun to say. All right, uh, what goes into green chicken pesto pasta? Um, so we are going to, yeah, we are going to... Fry the chicken. Fry the chicken. Fry the chicken. Put the spaghetti in. Put the spaghetti in. Put the spaghetti in. We have to say this three times each to make it stick. And then put Parmesan cheese on top. Put Parmesan cheese on top. Okay. Okay, so you fry the chicken. Oh, okay, sorry. Is there more? 
No, yeah, just pesto for the last. Oh, and, and then pesto. Then we okay. Mix it up. Mix it up. Yeah. And, and we uh, eat it. And we eat it. What about the? You said green. Is it on green pasta? Is that part of it too? Yes. Yes. Green oh, so it's, yes. Is that that green spinach pasta? Oh man, this is a feast for the senses. Now, at first when you said green chicken pesto, I thought this was like a green eggs and ham Sam I am kind of thing. But this is not related to Dr. Seuss at all, right? <laughs> I mean, it might be. Well, I mean, maybe he had this too. Maybe this is like a. We could develop this into a sequel to Green Eggs and Ham. It could be called Green Chicken Pesto. Audience, give it up for Summer and Asher in California. I, I am literally drooling on this microphone. And that's saying something, because I'm vegetarian. Now we're going to Pennsylvania to meet our third and final celebrity chef here in our flavor round. Audience, put your paws together for Sloan. It's Sloan in Pennsylvania. Greetings, Sloan. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Monkey House. Are you ready for this, Sloan? Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm also very excited. So far, we have roasted rosemary chicken. Uh, we have green chicken pesto uh, pasta. And now it's your turn, Sloan. What have you concocted that features boneless, skinless chicken breasts? Okay, so I'm making uh, Monkey House chicken slime. Wait, so, I'm sorry, uh, did you say Monkey House Chicken Slime? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I like how this is starting already. Keep going. Um, okay, so first I just make regular chicken, like breaded chicken. Uh -huh. And then I add, like, a lot of, like, pesto and stuff and add, and then add a bunch of olive oil and stuff. And, but, and then I cook it for 10 more minutes and then I, um, and then it kind of looks like slime a little bit, and uh -huh. so that's why. It, could I put it in a in a blender just to make it, you know, the same viscosity as slime too, so it's nice and lumpy like slime? I guess you could, yeah. Okay, and what about this? What if then I took all that slime with the chicken and the pesto all blended up, and I hung it from the ceiling in a bucket? So anytime someone said the words "I don't know" on Live in the Monkey House, the bucket could drop all that slime on their head, and that's how they eat it. What do you think? That's a great idea. Thank you. I, I mean, I, I, you know, credit where credit is due. I got that idea from watching You Can't Do That on television and also Double Dare on Nickelodeon back in the 1980s. But I think the principle still stands. Audience, give it up for Sloan in Pennsylvania, who created Monkey House Chicken Slime. Oh, I like that one. That one's like a... It's like a sport and it's a food all at the same time.